sure to cut at an angle so the water can get up into the stem of the flower, otherwise it'll sit flat on the bottom of whatever you're doing and it won't be able to soak up the water. Most of the leaves off of the hydrangea, otherwise the water doesn't get to the flower. It only stays in the leaves. So you can kind of pick and choose, but I usually leave like the top two or three so it still looks pretty. Floral scissors. I got a kit on Amazon with gloves, scissors, this rose thingy. Again, the reason we take all the leaves off is so the leaves aren't taking up all the water. Clients want something crazy and weird, they have to know that there's a lot of risk involved. Usually roses, hydrangeas, I mean carnations are a hardy flower. There's some other ones there that are basically very pretty leaves. Those mm -hmm. are always great flowers to work with. with it but you know that already looks a lot nicer and then you actually take them and spin them
to me.